Now to the cleanup from strong storms that ripped through parts of West Michigan this weekend. Viewers sending us these pictures of the damage from the Fruitport area. Tonight, Consumers Energy says that 10,000 people are without power statewide. Almost half of those are in Kent County alone. Another 2,900 have no power in Muskegon County. 2,400 out in Ottawa County. Much of the damage is centered around the villages of Kent City and Fruitport. We have reports from both locations for you tonight, beginning with 24-hour news aide's Jessica Leffler in Fruitport. Jess? So we're here along the main drag. This is Airline Road in Fruitport. And take a look at all these businesses that now have their power back on. Yesterday when we drove up and down this road, this is again Airline Road, all of these businesses were closed. The only thing open on this entire stretch was a small ice cream shop that was running on a generator. We caught up with the Fruitport Township Supervisor. He tells us that Consumers Energy is still working to restore much of the power to the grid here, but they still have a long way to go. The cleanup continues throughout this area and trees are down and when we drove around earlier today, many people that we saw were still cleaning up their yards, still chopping up trees and even driving around now you can see all kinds of trucks that are here to fix the power as well as take down trees services. The township supervisor tells us that if you are overwhelmed, you live here in the Fruitport area and you're overwhelmed at the cost of cleanup or if your insurance doesn't cover that cost, there might be help available for you. If, if there are residents in the community that have been affected, that are having a difficult time, that uh, you know they need some trees removed, um, that it didn't hit their house, uh, so it's not covered by insurance, but yet they've got these humongous trees laying in their yards, and, and they just don't have the resources to take care of it. They're ask, we're asking them to give us a call. That township supervisor, Brian, tells us that there are some volunteers who are willing to help people out. It depends on your circumstances. So, again, call the township hall, and they're going to see what they can do to help you out. Coming up tonight at 10 11, we're going to continue from Fruitport with storm damage cleanup. But for now, we're live in Fruitport. I'm Jessica Leffler, 24 Hour News 8.